There's so much missing for the good people of the Couch and Valley. And you know, I heard somebody say that the, the Premier was able to focus in like a laser beam of light on what was needed. And I've got a whole list right here of things that I'll hope that uh, people will listen to, specifically in the Cowich and Valley, because I ended up in the hospital myself. I know something about the needs of uh, the good people of the Cowich and Valley. Uh, they've been telling me that they need a new hospital. Uh, the folks, uh, certainly the doctors, people in healthcare, uh, CVRD, they're all saving up for a new hospital. But uh, they tell me about some of the issues that are critical in the Cowich and Valley. And we have uh, issues that are unique with respect to health care issues in the Cowich and Valley. We have a population of more than 80,000 people when you take into account the CVRD area. More, about 8,000 of them are of uh, age 65. More than 6,000 of them are over the age of 75. Since 2001, the population has aged, uh, the, the, the population aged 75 years to 84 years has increased by 15%. So the baby boom uh, group is upon us. The population age 85 and over has increased by 43%. So you can imagine what that means at the, at the hospital. In the Couch and Valley, the aging population is increasing at a much faster rate than in either the overall Viha region or in the province as a whole. The Couch and Valley has the province's highest per capita rate for people with diagnosed physical, mental, and social needs challenges. Currently in the Couch and Valley, there are, are many serious health care needs. There is a high need for additional residential care beds for frail seniors. And what does this government do? $236 million for the richest folks that really don't need the cash. And frail seniors can't get the care beds. All of the publicly funded residential care facilities in the Cowich and Valley are full and have been for more than eight years. There is a high need for additional transitional care beds. The Couch and District Hospital acute care beds are full of seniors awaiting long-term care placements or, or transitional care placements. The Cairnsmore Place transitional care beds are full of seniors waiting long-term care placements. There is a high need for dementia care, gentle care programs and services and supports. Mental, many, many seniors with dementia who need uh, gentle care cannot access it at all and are instead chemically sedated and physically restrained. At Couch and District Hospital, more than a, a half of the psychiatry inpatient beds are regularly occupied by seniors waiting for long-term care placement, Honorable Speaker. Cowich and District Hospital is chronically at OCP5 status, which is you know, over their limit for, uh, it's just clogged. I've been in, in, uh, in a bed in the hall myself and know what it's like when they, you hear the speaker come on and they tell you that they're at OCP5 status. There's a high need for respite care beds and service. There are only eight such beds in the entire community. Hundreds of Cowich and Valley families currently need these supports. There is a high uh, need for caregiver support services and programs. Burned out caregivers, professionals, as well as family members and friends are an increasing percentage of emergency room patients and mental health clinic patients. There is a need for hospice and palliative care beds. And I, I do note uh, with some happiness that there's at least going to be some effort made by the government to do something more for hospice. Now, I'll, I'll be waiting to see if that's going to apply in all communities evenly throughout BC. I would hope so, but I do uh, note that there's going to be some increases, and that's an area where I know they need it desperately. Hospice and palliative care beds, there is a high need for increased adult care programs and services, high need for incontinence management clinic and there is a high need for more effective uh, and efficient chronic care management. There is a high need for a falls prevention program. 
a high need for doctors to make house calls and deliver services to long-term care facilities. And I'm sure that's true all over British Columbia. There is a high need for more publicly funded speech language patho pathology services for all ages. And there is a high need for publicly funded locally available outpatient rehabilitation therapy services, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech language therapy. There is a high need for better, faster and more locally available services for people on autism spectrum disorder. After reading that list, Honourable Speaker, can the folks in this House really say that the best thing that we could do with an extra $236 million is give it to the people and the top 10% of British Columbians who own 56% of the wealth of this province. That's the best that you guys could think, think of to do with that money. It's really, to me, it's, it's more than shameful, it's sad. It's, uh, it's just wrong, Honorable Speaker.